March 1865, the great war between the states raged toward its climax as the Union forces encircled and besieged the vital city of Richmond. and highways of Virginia, the armies of North and South locked in mortal combat. The federal web was spun ever closer to the doomed city, planned and executed by a brilliant officer of the engineers, Captain Cyrus Harding. Captain Harding? Correct. Colonel Briggs, sir. Headquarters wants another forward observing point constructed. I'll have to locate a spot for it. They must think we engineers carry Aladdin's lamp. Well, don't we? <laughs> Take charge here. Men, I'd like two volunteers for a scouting mission. <laughs> I said two. Norton, Conway, come with me. down there. Those Yankees are up to something. Send word down to intercept them. choice. suppose you'd be willing to tell me how the presence of my small detachment was discovered so quickly. You were seen from an observation balloon. I suspected that was it. May I have your parole? No, Major. I'll escape if the opportunity offers. So would I. But you'll have as much trouble leaving Richmond as we would. Lieutenant, see that Captain Harding is supplied with suitable quarters. Yes, sir. This way, Captain.
sure hope he's home. Mr. Jackson, this is Captain Harding, the prisoner of war. The provost marshal said that you'd have quarters for him. Mr. Jackson? I'm not very interested in having a Yankee in my house. Well, what have we here? Hello, fella. What's his name? Top. Hello, Top. Yankee or not, that's the first stranger Top ever cottoned up to that way, Captain. Well, perhaps it's a sign you should take me in. Maybe you're right. I'm grateful to both you gentlemen. You'd better remove some of your insignia. You might find that everyone in Richmond isn't quite so friendly. I'll do that, but not enough to be mistaken for a spy. Good day, Captain. Here for you, Captain. Thank you. Have you had enough of Richmond, Captain? I've only been here a week, but the answer is yes. Why do you ask? Because I'd like to escape, too. They're Yankee spies, that's what they are. They're Yankees, sure enough. Mm -hmm. If they're Yankees, they'll have money. Yeah. I'm Gideon Spillett, war correspondent for the New York Leader. Oh, yes. You were captured about a month ago on that cavalry raid. That's right. I thought you might know of some way to escape through the lines. I have some friends who'd like to go, too. I'd be happy to join you. As to suggestions... The balloon. Yes. It was the cause of my capture. It would only be fair if it were to help me escape. There's a small detail of getting aboard it. You're Yankees, aren't you? What of it? What's going on here? These thugs attacked us. They're Yankee spies. They're prisoners of war. And they'll be treated as such. Lock them up. I trust you won't think those renegades represent all of us. Certainly not, Lieutenant. And thanks for your timely help. Well, glad to be of aid, sir. As a matter of fact, I came to check on you. Lucky you did. I guess I'd better remain indoors from now on. We intend to keep order in the city, if not outside it. My thanks also. Captain. Bring your friends to my room tonight. It's the rear of the Jackson house across the square. We'll be there. Good. See me in Richmond, huh, Captain Hardy? That scarcely expresses it. How'd you get here? Through both the Yankee and Rebel lines. I started as soon as I heard they'd taken you. How'd you find out where I was? Well, some of the servants around here do anything for a little chew of tobacco. And that's not all. Well, I'll be doggone. This is apt to come in handy. Captain Hardy. Come in. This is Ned, Mr. Spillett. He's been with me as long as I can remember. Hello? The others are outside. Fine, have them come in. These are my friends. Gentlemen. Jack Pencroft and Herbert Brown. Pencroft is a sailor. Until a raider put us on the beach. 
Bert here was the son of my skipper. Now he's like my own lad. I told him about your idea of using the balloon, Captain Harding. We think it's swell. We ran across some information about it. The Confederates mean to use it to get a message out to General Lee. When? Tonight at midnight. But the barometer's been falling since mid-afternoon. And there's a wind of hurricane intensity reported on its way. Then we must act quickly. They may try to take off before the wind strikes. Gentlemen, with your help, this is what I propose to do. with a hurricane do would be suicide. Don't you think we should wait for a better report? We'll have to see what Colonel Blystone has to say. as the balloon, cooling rapidly, started losing altitude. Captain! Look. We're falling fast toward the rocks. We've thrown over all the ballast. There's nothing left. Except... No, Captain, no! see him again, Neb. I'm a cat.
Captain Shide, the gale has blown our ship back to the island where we left our stores. So I see, Molly. Shall I lower the anchor, sir? Not yet. I don't like the looks of what I see. We'll cruise offshore for a while. Where are we? I don't know, but we're in a bad way. Did you find Captain Harding? What's that? Must have been a meteor. But it resembled none that I ever saw before. It looked like some strange craft from some other planet. I'd like to seek its landing place at some future time. But now we'd better find food and water. What are our chances? Well, there should be something edible among the rocks at the shore. Let's refresh ourselves with that. Then let's head inland and hope there are other humans there. Again, arrive safely on Earth. We will now go to my former workshop. I'm sure this is a water course. We should find some to drink before long. I hope so. After we've refreshed ourselves, we'll return to the beach to search again for Captain Hardy. If he dropped into the water, as you say, he may have survived. At any rate, he sacrificed himself to save us. Is that thunder? There's not a cloud in the sky. It wasn't thunder. Look. It's a volcano. I've seen many such in the South Sea. Then we better not go inland any farther. You're right. We have no choice. Who are they? Must be natives. There's no natives like that on these islands. Yeah, and they don't look very friendly. We'll take our chances with the volcano.
fate of Captain Harding. What wild island creature is this? Don't miss Sinister Savages, the second thrilling chapter of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. find Captain Harding, the castaways head inland, seeking food and water. Menaced by strange enemies, they seek refuge as a volcano suddenly erupts. Turn when that volcano is quieted down. But well, we need the supplies we left the shore last trip, Captain. There are other and easier ways of getting what we want. When we find what we came for, the island people will see a real eruption. See where it leads. I hope it don't lead to that old volcano.
Who was it? I could not see, but they have gone. Continue with your work. I knew we were heading to that old volcano. This looks like a way out. That could mean water. It looks peaceful enough ahead. And let's hope it stays so. At least that volcano's quieted down. But maybe those natives haven't. Those weren't natives, Neb. I've sailed around the world many times and never seen anything like them before. seem as peaceful as it did. a girl. Only a girl. With a weapon like that? Maybe we could make friends with her. Hello? Let's get out of here before she really gets friendly. got to get into the valley. Only not the way we tried before. Right. We'll bypass that rock canyon and the strange young lady who guards it. Hope she doesn't follow us. Well, maybe we'll do better this time. I don't see any water. With all these trees around, there's sure to be a river or a brook someplace. Funny about that girl. If she's typical of the local civilization, it must be a lot farther advanced than our own. They advance far enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rest for a while. Good. Not me. I'll take a look ahead.
not much. Who are you? The question is, what is he? <laughs> Maybe he's human. Well, the girl was, but while she looked like something from an advanced civilization, this looks like something from the Stone Age. Do you speak English? If we could get him to talk, he could tell us where water is. Water? Water. You're coming with us. Well? Water. important that we find water. Masali Palang, Bobby, Salwa, come on. Remember what happened the last time you got ahead of us? Yeah. We'll take it easy this time. Patali! What do you suppose he's talking about? You've been among savages before, Uncle Jack. Tell them we're just thirsty. We friendly. Mean no harm. Thirsty. Want water. You know, there's something wrong here. Stop your worrying. Water's water, and I mean to have some. like a way out. This crevice doesn't go through. We're trapped. mission of these strange people from another planet? How does Captain Harding fall into the hands of these wild people? Don't fail to see Savage Justice, the third exciting chapter of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week.
searching for the missing Harding, the castaways find a pool of water. As they near it, the strange volcano people bar their way. At first, they appear friendly, but now... Looks like a way out. This crevice doesn't go through. We're trapped. write this story. Suddenly! Hello! Sau! Sabe me fala por lo cama. Sau! What scared them off? Could it have been the gunshot? I don't know. It's too much for me. I know who those folks are. They're the volcano people. They carry fire with them. We'd better leave here while we can. It, but we still haven't found any water. We'll go back to the pool. I'll bet those volcano people are just waiting for us to do that. It's either that or go thirsty. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like a ghost playing chimes. Came from over there.
seems to be coming right out of the rock. Maybe it's some sort of alarm. Look, we're wasting time. We should be looking for water. trace of it. Then we must work night and day until we do. Until we find and perfect it, our leader will not be able to attack Earth. Him how to use his own weapon. That's good water. Not ever tasted better than me. Water bags. They'll come in handy. We'd better go before the one who run off comes back with others. You're right. He's pretty close. Let's try and locate him. He's trying to tell us something. It's Captain Hardy. I know it.
Mire. They're taking the captain. We're helpless without weapons. At least we can find out where they're taking him. Then we can rescue him. It's not that simple, Bert. Pencroft and I will follow him. You two go back to the spot where we landed and set up a temporary camp. Maybe you can find some arms and ammunition in the balloon basket. Maybe we can. Here. Then when we find where they've taken Captain Harding, we'll come and get you. The spot where we landed is due south. Good luck. I bet there's a lot of caves in those mountains. What you looking at? That chest. I'm sure it wasn't there before. That's right, it wasn't. Let's see what's in it. What do you make of that? Looks like the volcano men are getting ready for some kind of ceremony. Which might be fatal for Captain Harding. We can't do anything alone. Let's get back to Burton and maybe they've had better luck. Weapons and ammunition, just what we need. Funny things should happen on this island. They certainly do. Those rocks that saved us. And that strange girl with that odd gun. Yeah. But if things like this keep happening, we needn't worry. Now we can save Captain Harding. Let's take some to Mr. Pencroft and Mr. Gideon. All right, that'll save time. Here. Where'd you get this gear? In a chest near the balloon. What? This means we can save Captain Harding. Yeah, if we hurry. Ça, c'est l'oeil Castaways protect themselves against this wild man. Is this mystery man a friend or a foe? Be sure to see Wild Man at Large, the fourth action chapter of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week.
castaways find Captain Harding, only to discover that he is a prisoner of the volcano people. As Harding is about to be sacrificed in a strange ceremony, his comrades rush to his aid. Expected to see you again. Where have you been all this time? I'm not sure. But I'll tell you all about it later when we get into friendlier territory. I have a dim memory of being picked up out of the ocean, but I don't know by whom or what. I felt as though I was being carried somewhere. When I finally revived, I was in that meadow where the volcano people found me. What do you make of them? They're not like anyone I've ever seen or heard of. Neb calls them volcano people. They have some strange way of making fire. Have you seen any other inhabitants? Yes, we have. A strange girl. A girl? She has the appearance of one from another planet. Amazing. This is a volcanic island. It probably rose from the sea during an eruption. And it's possible that some people from an undersea continent came with it. Whoever she is, she's not a friend. She carries a weapon of a kind I've never seen on land or sea. What'd it do? It burned a rock nearby. Luckily, it missed us. Mm, some method of projecting an intense heat. I'd like to meet this girl. For my part, you can have her. <laughs> Well, we have food and water. Now we must find some shelter. There's plenty of caves around here, Captain. A good idea. Perhaps our unknown benefactor will furnish it for us. Well, we'll find one. Then we'll stake our claim and decide how we can get away from here. Everyone carry some. Come on, Top. What's here? Now we know where the Earth people will live. Time for a message from our leader.
looks like somebody's been living here. I wonder who. Maybe the wild man. Let's see where that door leads. Isn't this the bulkhead door of a ship? That's right, sir, it is. Looks like something we can use. Let's see what's in the crate. See where that door leads to. There's no lock in it. Maybe it's sealed. It looks like it hasn't been used in years. But it has been. Look. We'll hope that footprint was made by Frank. But until we know, this door is a menace to our safety. Meanwhile, let's set up housekeeping until we find out where we are and how we're going to get away. Good idea. some kind on the island. And plenty of fish in the sea. You're right. But we must build a reserve supply of food while we can. We have nature to contend with as well as our human enemies. That's right. just hungry. It's running, but it's Washington time. Oh, that's what I want. With this, I can find our longitude. Oh. With a sunny spot in the stick, I can tell when it's noon. It sounds too complicated to me. I think I'd rather go hunting. Go ahead, but don't wander too far. <laughs> well, look what I found. Now I can write a story of a trip. Always the reporter. <laughs> Neb, will you give me a hand? We can make a desk and chair from that stuff in the other room. Find a spot for our calculations.
the shadow reaches its shortest point, it'll be noon. The shadow's starting to get longer. We've just passed noon. What time have you? A minute past five, Washington time. Let's see, Washington is about 77 degrees longitude. The sun travels 15 degrees an hour. At, uh, let's see, five hours difference with places 75 degrees west of Washington. 77 plus 75 is 152. Our approximate longitude west of Greenwich. 152 west. If I know my charts, that puts us well in the islands of the Pacific. Yes. And over 4,000 miles from the American coast. you so much trouble. Why didn't you tell us before that you could speak and understand English? Oh, I've been here so long alone, I must have lost my mind. Is that why you attacked me? Yes. Yes, it must have been. How did you come here? I came on a pirate ship. How long ago? I've lost all track of time. Whose hut is this? The pirates built it. But now it's mine. So you were angry when you found us in it. Were you a pirate? No. No. They captured me from a merchant ship. I tried to escape, and they marooned me here. You know of any food on the island? Yes. Yes, the pirates stored some here, intending to return for it. Where are these supplies? In a canyon not far from here. Will you show us where they are? Yes. You two go with him. I don't trust him. Neither do I. But Pencroft and Gideon can take care of themselves. There are the supplies. It's an odd place to stow them. Oh, it was done to keep the wild animals from getting them. How do we get to them? I'll show you.
girl from Mercury continue to menace the castaways? Will Ayrton, the wild man, form an alliance with the strange volcano people? Don't fail to see Trail of the Mystery Man, the fifth smashing chapter of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. regret his recent hostility, offers to show the castaways a hidden supply of food. Pencroft and Gideon accompany him on guard against treachery. Then let's get to safer ground. What happened to the wild man? He cleared out. If we ever see him again, remind me that I owe him something. Well, there's probably a lot here that we can use, but the question is getting it out. Maybe we can use it as a reserve supply. You feel like starting back to the hut? I'm fit. What could have made such tracks? I don't know. Do you remember Harding's story of being carried from the water by somebody? Yes. Only a giant could have made tracks like that. Well, who knows? There are many mysterious things on this island that are beyond my understanding. You're right. And except for the huge footprints in the sand, Gideon and I found no other signs of who they belonged to. But we saw all we want of the wild man. Harrington? Yeah. yeah. He's undoubtedly insane. Our problem now is to find a way off this island. Only a boat or a miracle could do that, Captain Harding. Or perhaps our strange mystery man. We could only locate him. You think he'd help us get away? He's hated us before. We'll start our search for him in that meadow where I first recovered consciousness. Captain, can I go with you? I guess it'll be safe enough. Oh, I'll need you along to help identify footprints, if we find any. I'll stay here. I want to catch up on the notes for my story. You do that, Gideon. Maybe we can bring you back a happy ending. <laughs> this is where we saw you. Then your idea is that he may have a hideout someplace in this area. Yes. We'll spread out and keep your eyes open for anything out of the ordinary.
Captain Hardy, Mr. Pencroft, come quick! This may be what we're looking for. Those look familiar to you, Pencroft? They're the same kind of markings that Gideon and I saw. They lead toward those rocks. Well, I don't see any more of those weird prints. Maybe they turned off somewhere behind us. This seems to be a natural path. Let's we'll see where it leads. cover till they come within range. Well, I guess you're right, Bert. Those prints must have turned off the trail somewhere behind us. There's somebody up on those rocks. Looks like a girl. She's the one we told you about. Well, our rifles are no match for the strange weapons she's using. Besides, making war on women isn't quite in my line. We haven't much choice. I'm making my choice while I'm still able. huge footprints. It seems impossible. You know, I'm beginning to believe that on this island, nothing is impossible. Well, that girl certainly isn't trying to help us. All she does is shoot fiery blasts at us from that strange gun. Anyhow, we're safe here. But not for long. Stop right there, we'll shoot. They don't understand. I'll fire a shot over their heads. These lovers seem to think we're gonna kill them. Maybe somebody's been giving them wrong ideas about us. I think someone has. If we can convince them we mean no harm, they may be willing to help us. How can we do that? By returning them to their people unharmed. They came from that direction. You, take us to Chief. All right, move. Oh, my pulangi, panga, panga. Papalungi, Sao, Funga. Wonder what he said. Probably telling him about our rifles. I hope he told him how we could have shot them but didn't. I also might balangi. Also no yeah, fa 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 purple but like kiki lava. We want to make friends, understand? I think we're being welcomed. We'd better accept. Do you understand? Friends.
What's your call? Le ai pali wonga. Le war. Le war. From the expression on the chief's face, he's up to no good. Yes. I think we're being double crossed. But I'm sure we'll find out. Halanga. Toya. Toya, I do yika palanga. I do yika. Alolo, le mela. Ta ko ifo. Lima. Olo. Olo. Lalo. What's that all about? I think we're being blamed for something. Probably that volcanic rumble. Olo. Olo. Lalo. Luna. You're behind us, Harrison. Tell them we're friends or you'll stop the first bullet. That's what you deserve. We may have some use for him. Keep him covered, Pencroft. If they charge us, fire a shot over their heads. What's up, Roy? Hey! Come I guess they were too scared of our guns to try following us. You owe us a debt for saving your life, Harrison. It's only fair that you pay up. But I have no money. Our price is information. Where can we find a boat? We want to leave this island. I did too once, but I gave it up. You see, there are no boats. Well, there must be something, some way to leave this place. If there was, I would have found it many years ago. You see, this island is off the shipping lanes. No one ever comes here, so there is no chance for anyone to leave. Can I go now? Not yet. Who are those people we just left? I found them here when I came. They told me they were inside the island when it rose up from the sea, and the volcano freed them. But there are other people on the island. Who's the mystery man? Mystery man? Yes, we've seen signs of him around here. He leaves a trail of large shoe prints deeply embedded. Oh, yes, I've seen him. Where can we find him? You can't. He comes and goes like a ghost. Where'd you see him? I followed him to a cave in those mountains near the beach. Let's have a look. Where's Harrison? He ran out on us. He couldn't have gone far. Never mind him. We have something more important to think about. This may be 
Привет. to return to Mysterious Island? What will they do when they learn that the castaways have found their supplies? See what happens in The Pirate's Attack, Chapter 6 of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. Castaways persuade Ayrton to show them the location of the mystery man's cave. Ayrton vanishes mysteriously, but the others go to the cave, hoping to find help to leave the island. That's what you mean. So am I. What do you suppose we ran into? Nothing I could explain, lad. All I saw was a blinding shower of sparks. Same here. Whatever it was seemed to come from openings within these walls. Whoever you are, listen closely. What you have just experienced is merely a warning. I mean you no harm. But you must leave at once. Where's that voice coming from? It seems to be all around us. Do not attempt to find me. Get out. Maybe it's Ayrton. He steered us here. No, Ayrton isn't clever enough to arrange all this. Our mystery man is around here somewhere. He's giving us another sample of his magic. Leave here while you can. Refuse. And I shall not be responsible for what happens. That does it. Let's get out of here. No one here. We're up against someone more ingenious than we think. Let's get back to the hut. Well, after what happened at that cave, it doesn't look like we can count on much help from our mystery man. Does that mean we're to stay marooned here forever, Captain? I hope not, Gideon. For the time being, we'll have to learn to live on this island and like it. I'll live on it, all right. But I'm hanged if I'll like it. I'd like it a lot better after a night's sleep. Me too. 
You're right. Good night, sleep will do us all good. Watch the boat. spying on us when we were filling our water casks. The captain may find some use for him. Captain Shard. It's me, Ayrton. Don't you know me? Who would want to know you? Take a good look at him, Molly. It's Ayrton, your former shipmate. The years spent here don't improve his appearance any. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to take me away with you, Captain. You promised, Captain Shard, that on your next trip you... You are banished for disobeying my orders. I'll decide when your term of punishment is over. Then why have you returned to the island? Because I need provisions from our stores. If you can get them. What do you mean? They're still there, aren't they? Yes. They're all here, Captain, and more, too. What else? Five survivors who landed here in the wrecked balloon during a storm. They've taken over the stores you've left. Uh, five castaways are hardly a match for us. Oh, but they're well armed. They can be counted on to resist. There are ways of luring them out into the open where they can be wiped out. How can you do that? We're using you as bait. <laughs> what do we do with him, Captain Shot? Throw him in the brig, Molly. Nothing like a good meal to start the day off right. <laughs> we just naturally picked the best stock place on the island. Even Top is voicing his approval. Not the way he's but Something's wrong. What is it, Top? What do you see? It's Ayrton. He seems to be hurt. Our rifles are back in the hut. Show him a good time.
saw them on the island before. Probably a landing party from some ship. Pirate ship, judging from their dress and manner. What do you suppose they want of us, Hardy? This cave we found might be their storehouse. So it's ours now. Yes, but for how long? Our ammunition is limited. They must know it. You and the others hold him off till I get back. I'm going after that mystery. No, he won't help us. That voice in the cave warned us away. He's helped us before. He just doesn't want us to track him down. Let me go. I'm smaller than he is. I can work my way along the face of the cliff to the next ledge. Go ahead, Bert. We'll keep the pirates' heads down. firing. Let him have it. We'll never get him out of there unless we rush him. That's not the way. I got a better idea. Keep busy. our emergency supplies in the boat. You know what to do. Be back soon with help.
Shadow from Mercury make a prisoner of Bert? With whom have the pirates gone to war? For the amazing answers, see Menace of the Mercurians, Chapter 7 of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. return to the island to get supplies they left there. Finding the castaways have taken over their quarters, the pirates attack. Our ammunition can't hold out much longer. Bert might be back soon with help. You saw that powder keg, Mr. Gideon. Yeah, it's a miracle we're alive. Well, I hope the blast drove the pirates off. Pirates? I'd like to forget about them. They haven't forgot about us. Closed by itself. We must have accidentally touched some hidden spring. Two of them escaped, Captain Shard. Yes, thanks to your clumsiness. But these two didn't. Now we can settle with them for helping themselves to our stores. Now wait. There's a more practical way to make them pay. Take them out to the ship. There's always work for slaves to do. <laughs> Come on, men. Someone must have helped us escape. Remember, there's a mystery man on the island. Well, there's nobody here now. He must have used this passage. 
We'll follow it and see where it leads. There might still be time to help Jack Pencroft and Mr. Gideon. Yes, in the meantime, we'll try and locate Bert and try to warn him what's happened. fear me. Why not? You've already tried to kill me. Not kill. I was warning you, Earthman. Earthman? Who are you? My name is Rulu. I'm from the planet Mercury. But you speak English. We've mastered all of Earth's languages. Well, what are you doing here and how did you come? How we came is my secret. We're in search of a substance found only on Earth. Well, then go ahead and search. All I want is to get out of here. You will come with me. What makes you think I will? I know you will. You will follow me quietly and make no attempt to escape. Do you understand? Yes. I've never seen this place before. This island is full of surprises. Don't see any signs of that mystery man, though. Did you hear anything? <laughs> Nothing's coming out of that brush, Captain Hart. Hey, it's Top. <laughs> Hiya, Top. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> Say, I think he wants us to follow him. to go. Look. Mr. Gideon and Jack Pencrow. The pies didn't kill him after all. No. If they get him aboard their ship, there's no telling what'll happen. Well, can we help before they get there? We can try. to be slaves aboard a pirate ship. Tie them up.
once again our mystery friend has saved us. Yes, but we can't always count on him. From now on, we'll have to ship for ourselves. There's still food and water in the cave. Unless the pirates have taken it. We've found no trace of Bert. You wait here and rest a while. I'll go scouting and see what the pirates are up to. Let me go with you. Come on. Take your men to the ship and get things ready. Tell the guards we'll load the supplies tonight and get away from this cursed place. Aren't you coming with us? No. I'll meet you here tonight. Now get on your way. Come on, men. And they're up to something. Get Pencroft and Gideon. I'll stay here and keep an eye on Shard. Waiters paid off. I wonder what they're up to. Where's Moley? Stayed aboard ship, sir. He said he wasn't feeling well. Well, I'll attend to him later. You two go back and stand by the boat. The rest of you follow me. Say, that gives me a great idea. What is it? We'll follow those two back to their boat. Once we take that ship, we can control the island. Then we can get Bert and sail away. I'm for it. Where the 
cannon for firing. to Bert, a prisoner of the Mercurians. At whom is this pirate attack directed? Be sure to see Between Two Fires, Chapter 8 of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. crew was aboard the pirate ship, the castaways attempt to capture it, but they find more pirates aboard than they expected. Captain Shot wouldn't let me have my way with you, but now he's not aboard. What are you going to do with us? See you to your boat, of course. All on the side with him. the cannon for firing. Shard has the other boat ashore, sir. We'll make this part our headquarters. It isn't as good as a hut, but it'll have to do. I'm in favor of getting what supplies we can find and clearing out while we have a boat. That is, as soon as we find Bert. Right. We can't leave without him. We can't go very far in that small craft, even if we want to. The last thing we knew of Bert, he'd gone after the mystery man for help. I wonder if he found him. I'll go have fun, Captain. First thing in the morning. Good old Neb. Well, we might as well make ourselves comfortable. What strange place is this? It is what you Earth people would call my home while I'm on the island. 
If you came from Mercury, as you claim, how did you travel? That is a secret I cannot share with you. What's that? A ways of communicating with my planet. I'll show you. That looks like sunlight. It is. We've learned how to store and use the power of the sun. This is all very interesting, but uh, I think I'd better find my friends. You cannot go yet. Why not? Try to do so. You will see. Why did you and your people come to this island? Not because we wanted to. We were blown here in a balloon by a hurricane. Are you sure there was no other reason? Of course I am. Why would anyone want to come here with the volcano people? And you and your men trying to kill us. You must remain here until I'm sure you're telling the truth. Meanwhile, my friends are being attacked by pirates. Nip should be back by now. I wonder if he found any trace of Bert. I hope so. You, Neb. Any trace of Bert? No, but I sure seen signs of pirates. Two of them are following me. They haven't seen us yet, and we could use their weapons. What about Gideon? Let him sleep. Show us where they are, Neb. Tie them up. That'll be two less to worry about. We searched everywhere and found no trace of the castaways. This is a small island. They must be on it someplace. I'll get a larger search party and track them down. See that you do. And while you're at it, keep a sharp lookout for some sign of Ayrton. Aye, aye, sir. Footprints leading from the gravel. Some of them might have been birds, but I couldn't tell about the others. That lets a mystery man out. You could certainly tell his prints if you saw them. They might have belonged to the pirates. No. They was different shaped, like none I ever saw before. What about the strange girl with that peculiar weapon? A girl? That's it. I've been trying she's to She's worse than the pirates. Perhaps she's not as warlike as we think. She may only be trying to frighten us away, just as a mystery man did. Couldn't you have followed those prints, Neb? Not without being seen by the pirates. I had to keep clear of another boatload that landed from the ship. You know they've taken all those provisions that were stored in that cave? At least they haven't found all the provisions. Well, maybe we better move the stuff here. That might be safer. You wait here, Gideon. The rest of us go after the provisions in the canyon. Take 
these two next. That box. I found those castaways you're looking for, Captain Shard. You found another way to trick me, you mean? Oh, I've never tricked you. I tell you, I know where they are. Tie him up. We'll take him to the ship later for proper punishment. No, Captain, I'm trying to help you. Get him out of here. in trouble. What's going on here? Good luck, Coca. What's there, huh? He's trying to show us he means no harm. They remember our peace mission. They're trying to make friends. It was Ayrton that spoiled it for us last time. Maybe. But I still don't trust these volcano people. Well, at least they're trying to do the right thing. Put down your guns. It's all right, Gideon. Follow my rock, may I? All right. This is the best meal we've had since we've been stranded on this island. What's he trying to tell us? I think he wants us to accompany him. Wait a minute. Where to? Perhaps to his village. You suppose it's safe? We'll risk it. Maybe we can find out something about Burton. Captain Shard. My friends and I will be very happy to go with you, Chief. Yeah, go on and say, Mary, I got one. Ways. They'll destroy each other and save us the trouble. I'm afraid not, Captain. They've made friends that seem to be planning something. If they join forces, they'll be too strong for us. I left Swanson back there to keep a weather eye on them. Good. I think there's a way we can turn these island people against the castaways. Here's what you do.
they're not leading us into a trap. I think we've won them over. fired the shots. Chief, wait. Our weapons didn't shoot at your people. You're making a mistake. Don't fire unless we're forced to, Pencroft. new mischief can the wild man be up to? Is Bert to remain a helpless slave of the Mercurians? For the stirring answers, see Shrine of the Silver Bird, Chapter 9 of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. captain learns that the castaways and volcano people have made an alliance. Planning to break it up, Shard and his men close in on the others as they march inland. They think we fired the shots. Chief, wait. Our weapons didn't shoot at your people. You're making a mistake. Don't fire unless we're forced to, Pencroft. Down, quickly! Come on, let's get out of here. that means we're back in the Chief's good graces. I hope so. Much sorry. You should be. It was those pirates that started this. He spoke. In English. What did you learn to speak our language? Ayrton, teach me. You never let on to us. I'm not sure you're friends. You can tell us a lot about this island. And maybe something about Bert. A member of our party has disappeared. Perhaps you can help us. 
Do you or your people know where he is? This island has many dangers. We've met some of them. My people harm no one unless attacked. <laughs> I'm sorry. How did you and your people come here? In volcano. You know anything about the strange girl we've seen on this island? Come, I show. Well, we've outrun them. Yeah, but we'll meet them again on my terms. All right, but they're stronger now that the castaways have joined up with them. Well, Ayrton knows their ways. We'll force him to help us. Come on. be in sight. Spread out through the rocks. of Silverbird. You like sea? Yes. Come. Quite a place. My people bring here. Where'd they find it? Out there in Hollow Rock. It looks like silver, but not much like a bird. Could have been some sort of metal boat. How did it get here? It flew like bird. You saw it? When? Not long ago, uh, we were on hunting trip. My men start great shout. They show me what scared them. Something goes through sky. Oh, we come on. It strike ground with great fire and smoke. Sometime after we look, we find this. We saw it too the first day we were here. We thought it immediate. But footmarks come away. Footmarks? What kind? Some big like yours, some small. Like a woman's? Maybe. Well, perhaps it's how our strange girl came here. You know this girl? She has a gun that makes rocks burn. My people are afraid of her. Can you find her for us? It's our only chance to find Bert. Well, maybe there's something here that'll help us. What's this? It's nothing I've ever seen before. Maybe it's some kind of control. Music! Unearthly music, if you ask me. from 
from our lost communicator. We must find it. Wait. You will stay here until I return. Take this? What do you suppose it is? I think it's some kind of a box that sends a message. Like a telegraph? Yes. There may be another box like this somewhere on the island. If we can locate it, perhaps we can find that girl. Then let's try. Fine. I'll go after the girl. chance against that gun. We gotta be more careful about keeping undercover. Then how are we gonna follow? That's a good question. But we've got to do it, Neb. It's our one chance to find out what they've done with Bert. Well, I'm ready. Just so as we don't get too close. circle around. Perhaps we can pick up their trail.
I thought she'd spotted us from the way she acted. I guess she hasn't. No use, Neb. They're gone. Well, we do. Head back and see if we can find that village. Maybe the others will look for us there. I sure hope we can find that village. on that ledge. Maybe she lives around there. I hope so. Where did she go? She must have headed down. Seems to be the only way. Will Ayrton betray Bert to the pirates? What new danger confronts Bert now? Next week, in this theater, see the plot unfold further in Fighting Fury, Chapter 10 of Mysterious Island. has allowed Rulu to escape so that he can follow her to her headquarters. But Rulu is aware of this and now plots a deadly trap for her pursuers. She's heading for the pass up on that ledge. Maybe she lives around there. I hope so. She go. She must have headed down. Seems to be the only way. Could have been worse. Not much. 
That girl's responsible for this somehow. Yeah, among other things. But we still have to find out what she knows about Bert. This island. She doesn't understand what you're saying. I understand you both perfectly. I'm Rulu. I come from the planet Mercury. How? In that ship the volcano people found? Perhaps. We have a young friend named Bert. Do you know where he is? I know nothing of any Bert. She's lying. We'll find out. Not so fast, miss. You're going with us. Where are we taking you? to see the chief of the volcano people. Good. Maybe Gideon and Eb will be there. Come along. devil who frightened my people. Now our tribe will make her pay. Wait, Chief. First we must hold a council to decide her fate. We hold council here. Yes, in the meantime we've got to keep her out of mischief. Where can I put her? In there. Chief helped tie her up. I can handle that. Pencroft, you stay here with the Chief. Put your hands behind you. May get men for council meeting. Good. You wouldn't dare harm me. Perhaps not, but the volcano people might. just went to fetch some of his warriors. That'll give her time to tell us something about Bert. These people will kill her, Captain Hardy. I didn't bring her here for that. Unless I'm mistaken, she's going to lead me to her headquarters. You wait here.
the workshop. You can see from what I've told you, I'm not as wicked as you think. Then you will help us find Bert. After you've told me how you came to this island. All right. There are five of us. We were prisoners in Richmond, behind the Confederate lines. Richmond? Confederate? There's a civil war going on in America, or was. Anyhow, there was only one way for us to escape. The Southerners had an observation balloon near where we were held prisoners. One night, we overpowered the soldiers who were guarding it. cut the balloon free. After we took off, the wind increased to hurricane force. days, the storm swept us across land and sea. On the fifth day, the balloon began to lose altitude. To keep it from falling in the ocean, I had to resort to a desperate measure. My friends survived the crash. Somehow I was rescued from the ocean and brought safely to land. So you see, we're not here because we wish to be. Then you would leave this island if you found this missing bird? Yes. We're very anxious to return to our native land. Then I will help you look for him. Careful! Pull an engineer at dead man. Seize him! We have a punishment for prisoners who try to escape. No, Captain Shard. Take care of them. Stop them, Captain. I have something to tell you. I've captured one of the castaways. If you let me go, I'll turn them over to you. If you're lying... I'm not. I'll take you to them. Lead the way. See, Captain, I wasn't lying. Get up on your feet. My feet are tied. Don't you think I deserve a reward, Captain Shard? Yes, I do, Ayrton. And you'll get it. Take them both with us. Come on. Pencroft. We've been looking for you and Captain Harding ever since we separated. Where is the Captain? Well, he and that strange girl were here. He told me to wait, and then they vanished into thin air. Any idea where we should look for them? Not the slightest. Then let's head for the beach. We were there a while ago, and there were signs of pirate activity. We've got nothing to lose. Thank you, Chief. Molly, put them inside. Sit down, you two. And don't let me hear a peep out of you. There's been a struggle here. Yes, and Bert was involved. Those are his shoe prints. I'd know those brogans anywhere. There are many shoe prints. This trail leads to the beach. It's my guess that Bert was taken by pirates. 
If we can find him in time, this may guarantee his freedom. Here's some food for you. Shad wants to keep you alive for a while. <laughs> When you get through eating, I'll be back to tie you up. in the ranks of the pirates? Will the castaways finally manage to capture the pirate ship? See the startling answers in Desperate Chances, Chapter 11 of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. search for them, Bert and Ayrton are captured by pirates. The captives are locked in a hut while the pirates discuss their fate. There's been a struggle here. Yes, and Bert was involved. Those are his shoe prints. I'd know those brogans anywhere. There are many shoe prints. This trail leads to the beach. It's my guess that Bert was taken by pirates. If we can find him in time, this may guarantee his freedom. Here's some food for you. Sean wants to keep you alive for a while. <laughs> When you get through eating, I'll be back to tie you up.
know which of you to thank first. Thank Rulo. She did it. Thanks a lot, Rulo. Now we can be friends. Friendship with Earth people means nothing to me. And there's no reason why you should be against us. I have no interest in your affairs. Well, thanks for your help, anyway. We heard the shooting and came as fast as we could. I don't trust that girl. She saved my neck. I kind of like her. Where'd the pirates go? They scattered, but we better keep an eye on them. They're our main danger. They'll probably head for the shore. Correct. Then let's do likewise. Captain Shad, I'd like to have a word with you on behalf of the men. Very well. First, you'd better send a scout back to make sure we've not been followed. You. Aye, sir. Well, speak up, man. You have a tongue in your head. We haven't been doing so good since we've been here. We'd like to leave this island. Oh, you would, eh? Yes, sir. We've got plenty of supplies aboard ship, enough to get to another port. We'll leave here when I give the orders to sail, and not before. Yes, sir. Looks as though the pirates were holding a meeting. You wait here, I'll try to get a closer look. Take me with you. You keep your voice down. You're staying here. Captain? You watch him, Bert. I'll go see what the other pirates are up to. So you want to leave this island, eh? Well, for truth we're known, so do I. But I'm not going to until I get something here that I want. What's that? The strange weapon that girl has. How can we go against that? It'll be sure death. Do you mean to oppose me? No, Captain Shad. I, uh... Well, I, I mean to oppose you. You won't leave me in a suicide party. Oh, I won't, eh? No, you won't. Well, we'll see about that. Anybody else want to be captain? Maybe you, Molly. No, not me. Very well, then we're agreed. We'll get extra men from the ship and take that girl by surprise and capture her precious weapon. Once we've got it, we'll rule the seas from the Sandwich Isles to the Great Australian Bight. Follow me. Yeah. We should warn Rulu. I think it's more important to seize the pirate ship if we can and get away from here. Let me go and tell her. We'll tell the others what we've learned, Bert. Pick up extra guns, powder, and shot. Now bring back every man except a small guard. Tell him to set the sails and stand by offshore. Did you find out anything? Enough for us to have another try at taking over the pirate ship. I sure would like to get back home. You'd like to get back? Imagine the news stories I can write. Let me help you capture the pirates. Let's not give him a chance to tip them off the way he did before. I'll make it my special duty to keep both eyes on him. Let's find the beach where we hit the boat. The search party has found our boat. We'll have to trick him and take it by force. No, you won't. Leave it to me. You'll betray us. What are you up to? Talk or I'll blast you. If you do, Captain Shard will hang him. I have a message from him. Well, let's have it then. He wants you all to return to the ship immediately. He has an important mission for you. That may be as you say, Arden. But you're coming with us, just in case. Once he really helped.
too long to help man the ship. Where's Bert? Find out what's happened to him. I helped, didn't I? Yes, you did, Ayrton. I hope you continue to help. Oh, I will, Captain Hardy. Prepare to shove off. running away. He's gone back into the country. He wanted to warn Rulo about the pirates. So that's where he's gone. Yes, and threatened our chance to take the ship. You two go after him. Bring him back here. We'll do the best we can. Let's shove off. Somebody might hear you. Standing watch. The sails are still set. They're still at anchor. Well, they're lying too in the wind. They must be planning on leaving in a hurry.
attempt to warn Rulu result in his capture by pirates? Has Rulu succeeded in enslaving the volcano people also? You can't afford to miss Mystery of the Mind, Chapter 12 of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. and Pencroft try again to capture the pirate ship, hoping to escape on it. Ayrton has been helping them, but now... to investigate. What you heard was that pirate ship blow up. I'm afraid Pencroft and I were the only survivors. How did it happen? I'll explain that later. Right now, we've got to find Bert. He's on his way inland. You and Neff stay here. Pencroft and I will pick up his trail.
You run away across one of those stowaways and the dog hear about Captain? What about them? I lost him somewhere in these rocks. More likely they lost you. It was that blasted hound. He led me on a false trail. Allowing the castaway to escape and warn the girl with the ray gun we mean to steal. He can't be too far from here. Our only chance is to make a surprise attack. Come on. Charging us. The way they're running, those pirates are afraid of something. Come on. What are you running from? What did you do with the young lad you and your cutthroats followed up here? Nothing, Governor. He's fallen into the hands of the island people and that strange girl. Don't fly. Those people are afraid of her. Not anymore. We were driven off by a party of them in front of her cave. What do you make of it, Pencroft? Same thing you do. He's lying. We'll find out. We'll take him back to that cave. Pirates plan to steal your ray guns. I got here first hoping to warn you. It's quite all right. My workers took care of the situation. The volcano people? They ceased to fear me and became my enemies. So I made them my slaves. Your slaves? You're worse than those pirates. I made a mistake ever coming here. Still, you meant to help me. You will not find me ungrateful. placing you in charge of these slaves. You will conduct them to a secret mine containing a rare mineral and put them to work. You understand? Yes. Very well. I will instruct you how to reach there. Wait. There's something going on here I don't understand. You know your instructions? Yes. I am to lead the slaves to the secret mine. We must resist any interference. Go. If birds are 
prisoner, he certainly doesn't show it. Still, I'm not sure. We can make sure. I intend to. Let's follow that part. Come to take you with me. Don't you know me? What's gotten into you? I can't leave you here. You're going back with me. Drive him off. turn on you. Have they all gone crazy? Something like that. Bert and those others seem to be in some sort of hypnotic trance. Is there anything we can do about it? Yes. We're going to trail them and see what they're up to. Come on.
will come of Bert's daring attempt to escape? Does this mean trouble between Rulo and the volcano people? See the thrilling answers in Jungle Deadfall, Chapter 13 of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. Volcano people work as slaves in her mind. Harding and Pencroft make a daring attempt to rescue Bert. Someone's coming. That's what I don't understand. Don't worry. I have an idea if Bert knows what he's talking. We 
suspected you of this attack on us. I see now it must have been the slaves. Well, we got out of there easier than we got in. Pencroft. What is it, Captain? Look. A mystery man. I wonder if he knew we were trapped in there. If he did, he might also know what burden the volcano men are mining in these underground diggings. We'll follow his footprints. but they're not sure where their danger lies. After them, mates. Pirates. They're right behind us. There they are! Cease fire. What for? We got the advantage on them now. I said cease fire. Stop shooting. A white flag. They're asking for a truce. That's a trick. Can't harm us to hear what they have to say. Give me a handkerchief. fighting each other. We intend to defend ourselves until we get off of this island. Would you be willing to forget the past and join forces? For what purpose? I'm in need of manpower. Help me build another vessel and we'll all get off this island. We have another problem to consider first. Name it. That strange girl is holding one of our party under a peculiar hypnotic spell. Aye, but we're no match for that girl's power. And we'll organize our own power. How? An alliance between the castaways and the pirates would ruin our plans. Direct me to the spot at once. Power 
Drawing that strange girl and her soldiers calls for more forces than we can muster. You forget there are volcano men on the island. Oh, they wouldn't help us. Why not? That strange creature is their enemy as well as ours. We're on good terms with the chief. Well, let's go see how good. Let's all go. I think it wiser if Shard and I visit the chief's camp alone. You're right. You men stand by on the beach until I return. After you, Hardy. Return to the workshop. I'll meet you there later. You are now my servant and will obey my orders. Do you understand? Chief, understand. You will soon receive two visitors. They must never leave this camp alive. Is that clear? Yes. Listen to what they say. Pretend to agree. Then you must lead them into a prepared trap. Must lead visitors into trap. Chief? Chief, remember. This is Captain Shard. We've come to ask your help. What help? Some of your tribesmen are being held prisoners by that strange girl and her soldiers. They're forcing them to work as slaves. With your help, we can save them. We save them. It's a trap!
rest of the castaways to be destroyed by shards, treacherous men? Does this mean that Rulu will receive help from her planet? Don't fail to see Men From Tomorrow, Chapter 14 of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. persuades the volcano people to aid in his fight against Rulu, but he doesn't know that they are under her control and that he and Shard are being led into a trap. You should be used to living dangerously. Not that dangerously. You know, one thing worries me. That girl ruling her age wouldn't have come to Earth unless they had some important plan. What of it, so long as they leave us alone? Yes, but when people come from another planet, they must have designs on this one. You'd like to find out what she's up to, is that it? Yes. I know a secret entrance to her headquarters. <laughs> Not me. I've had enough of that girl and her fiendish contraptions. Well, I thought you told me once that you'd give anything to have one of her ray guns. You think there's really a chance to get one? We'll never have a better one. Well, lead the way. What's in there? This leads to the back of the cave where Rulu's been working. what we came for. With enough of this, we can destroy everything on this planet.
Get their guns. Get over there with the others. Why did you come here from Mercury? Why should I tell you? Captain Shard is a pirate. He has ways to make you talk. A lot of ways. The secret of why I'm here is contained within that mechanism. Keep them covered. to have contact with you, but I could not stand by and see you killed. Who are you? I am Captain Nemo. Captain Nemo? The great scientist and commander of the submarine Nautilus. The same, if that's any distinction. Everyone thought you were lost. My ship and crew were, but I survived to reach this island. I'd hoped to spend my remaining years in peace. But invaders came from another planet. And now I must fight their plan to destroy the Earth. What? Yes, they came in search of a mysterious ore. When refined, it becomes the most powerful explosive the world has ever seen. The girl Rulu has enslaved the volcano people and is making them work for her. Yes. And when she has enough of this refined ore, her people will use it to enslave the Earth. Can we help stop her? Perhaps. I've been trying to perfect a machine which will block their plans, but it is not yet completed. Is this it? Yes. How does it work? It will neutralize their dangerous metal and render it harmless. But I need a small piece of a strange material which Rulu has. What's it like? It's like, uh, like glowing glass. She uses it in a small wand to hypnotize people. We'll get it for you. It will mean great risks. A few more will mean nothing. We won't let you down. You won't be letting me down. You'll be letting the world down. We'll need all of our forces to do this job. Come, I'll show you a secret way out. Oh, by the way, how did you bring us through that rock? About time we heard from Captain Harding. And from Bert, too. He's been gone even longer. I never did like it for the captain to go away with that pirate man. I don't think the pirates are holding him. Rulu might be, though. Hold it! Drop that! 
shotgun. What have you done with Captain Chad? He went away with Captain Harding. I know that. I asked you what you've done with him. Nothing. We haven't seen him since they left here. You're lying. Tie him up to that tree. Our leader has sent a spaceship for the metal. Meet it. Seal the box. I'll give you one more chance to tell me what you did with Captain Shad. We've told you all we know. It's your turn to speak. Out with it. I wouldn't feel so sure of yourself if I had a gun, too. Each shot will come closer to your head, unless you tell me what you did with Captain Shard. We've done nothing with him. I see why I'm wasting my time. Stop, you fool! Would you kill our friends? But I thought I... Stop thinking leave that to me. We're all banded together against this strange girl. She's trying to destroy the world. That's a big order. How could she do that? You'll take it from me, she can. We're marching now to find her wherever she is. Now look to your weapons and stop this petty quarreling. We've got a greater fight ahead of us. Strange girl? Could be. We'll find out. Captain Harding and I will investigate. The rest of you wait here. You men wait here too. Productive device so no one can go in the spaceship. received reinforcements from our planet. It seems deserted. Let's have a closer look.
daring venture will Bert attempt? What new emergency will confront our party? For the smashing climax, see the last of Mysterious Island, the final chapter of Mysterious Island, at this theater next week. and pirates form an alliance to defeat Rulu's plan to enslave the Earth. They see a strange craft arrive from the sky. And now, as they investigate... Space carrier. We have enemies who might have done it. Something happened to you. It happened to Shard. He's dead. They're the ones responsible. This is no time for a battle. We have more important things to do. They've gone. Two more men were sent here from Mercury to join with Rulo. What are they up to? She was sent here to find a mysterious metal. With it, she plans to destroy the world. So that's what the volcano people were digging. Right. Where did you learn all of that? Captain Nemo told me. Captain Nemo? Yes. He's our mystery man. A great scientist and engineer. I wonder why they didn't use their guns on us. I don't know. Captain Shard and I were on our way to get something for Nemo. What is it? A small wand she carries. With it, Nemo thinks he can prevent her from carrying out her plans. Well, there should be enough of us to do it. I'm ready. You can count us in. Good. You three men go to the mine through the secret tunnel. Order the slaves to guard our cave entrance. I'm going to rock the Earth with our first experimental blast. Stand outside on guard.
didn't send for you. Get back to your work. Sorry, Rulo. I'll give the orders now. Toss away that gun. You're in my power. I placed you under a spell. You did it first. I was prepared for it the second time you waved your magic wand. Now I know why you're here. My soldiers will not permit you to interfere. The one outside wasn't much help. What do you intend doing with me? I'll let my friends decide that. You're coming with me. You'd better look behind you first. You don't fool me with that. A spell. Yes, and it's also the activator Captain Nemo needs for his decontrol machine. Better let me hold this. Next thing you'll be hypnotizing yourself. We'll take our prisoner out of here. The volcano people. They're the slave laborers from the mine. They're all hypnotized. These two are your enemies. Destroy them. Bert. And we found a prisoner. You all right, boy? Sure. But I'll bet the four lovers back in the cave don't feel so good. We'll take them and tell. The volcano people will help you. Come on. What do we do with her? We'll take her to Captain Nemo. Let's get underway. Is this what you wanted, Captain Nemo? Exactly. Without this activating substance, the mechanism I've been working on would be quite useless. It looks like an ordinary piece of glass to me. No, no. This is a piece of transparent metal, unknown on Earth. We can thank Ruru for bringing it to us from Mercury. Are you sure it will work? I am only sure that it will defeat Ruru's plans. She came here in search of a mineral the world will someday call uranium. Uranium? 
What's uranium, Captain Nemo? A certain ore from which the Mercurians have been extracting energy. In the wrong hands, its deadly power could destroy mankind. And this apparatus would prevent it? Yes, by repelling its active rays. Fortunately, with Rulu's capture, She's escaped. Yes. Somewhere on this island, Rulu has a weapon powerful enough to destroy us all. She may attempt to use it. There's only one way to stop her, the ray machine. you wrote those notes for your newspaper column back home. I did, but who'd believe it? 